hey guys, thanks for tuning in once again. In this video, we just wanna show you how to make a bow and how to put it in a dog's top knot. And uh, we're going to start off by using our grooming ribbon. This, this ribbon is actually specifically made to make bows. Uh, so if you get a ribbon like um, at, at like an arts and crafts store, probably not gonna work too well. This is specific grooming ribbon. And uh, the reason for that is that the edges are sealed so that it really does make a nice bow and it stays uh, nice and um, firm. But anyway, uh, in order to make this bow, we're going to use about 14 inches of ribbon. And what we're gonna do is, we're going to wrap the bow uh, around our finger like this and with this bow we're, we're we want about two inches of bow so we're going to use our fingers you can make the bow bigger or smaller simply by spreading your fingers but in this video we're going to use about a two inch bow and we're going to be using grooming rubber bands again these are specifically made for dogs and grooming uh, they're smaller and they have a little rosin on them so that they you can grip them more easily a regular rubber band isn't going to work well so okay let's uh, try to do this <laughs> okay so we want about two inches so we're doing about that and we're going to wrap around once this is twice and then this is gonna be three times. So we're right here. So we're gonna grab our scissors because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off of our fingers and we're gonna remain holding it here. And then we're gonna bring it together like this and hold it together. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to fold it in half. Try not to crimp um, this part of it here so we really want to hold it in the center here using our index finger and our thumb uh, with that we're going to cut a little triangle right here not too much you don't want to cut too much because then you it'll break the bow but we want to just make a little triangle probably about a quarter of the way up and just snip that with a sharp pair of scissors Okay, now we're gonna open it back up and we're going to hold the center of it like this. We're gonna grab our rubber band and this is the tricky part and this kind of takes a little bit of practice, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our rubber band under my thumb here like this and grab it with my thumb and then pull around and feed it through on the opposite side like that. I know it's kind of hard to see, but we're going to grab that edge and pull it right through. It's a little difficult to do. Once you pull it through, it'll stay like that and it'll keep the ribbon intact. Okay, so once you get to here, um, this is the finessing part. What you want to do is uh, you want to flare the bow out. So you're going to take your index finger and we're going to just pull one at a time and separate like that and like that and we'll do the same thing to the other side like this and like this and, and you kind of have to play with it a little bit and make it your own but basically that's like a three-tier bow one thing to remember guys once you once you've made your bow what you want to do is just kind of check the back here and make sure that you have your loop right here um, you can see that little loop right there because that's what's going to go around the dog's top knot uh, by using your index finger and your thumb so there you have it that's a three tier bow right there you can make them smaller uh, you know you can use a two-tier bow but this we went with a with a three on this one because we really wanted to stand out okay so let's get Remy on the table and I'll show you how we put it in okay guys so Remy's on the table now uh, we're gonna put the bow in his hair that we just finished making um, so we're going to approach this just by kind of uh, separating everything first and making sure that uh, you know his hair is all combed out uh, it's part of the the challenge here is to just kind of make sure that all of this hair is kind of 
combed out and separated and this is kind of like a, a modified top knot and we're going to be doing a single top knot on him meaning just just one top knot here sometimes we'll do two top knots but in this case we're just going to do the one um, so again we this is modified when i say modified i mean uh, normally for show what they would do is they would kind of leave all this hair underneath the eyes in and they would comb that up as well and it would blend into the top knot but this is for pet so uh, we want to do it a, a little bit more uh, maintenance wise uh, so, so that we're not leaving all this hair underneath the eyes so what we did was we went ahead and we thinned all this out under the eyes and we're still going to leave enough hair to do our top knot okay so the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to put a rubber band in my hand and just kind of put it in my fingertip my uh, index finger and my thumb like that. And I'm gonna grab my comb at the same time, uh, if that makes sense. It, it's, it's a little weird, but you do get used to it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to comb the corners of the eye like I'm doing. So we wanna use the corner of the eye as our measurement here. And we're still gonna try to keep that rubber band on our finger as we do it. So. Once we get one corner, kind of just going to curve it to the towards the back of the head. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just want to be careful with the eye, though. You see, I'm I'm pulling up on his eye, but we got to let loose. You don't want to pull too hard. Come here, Bubba. It's okay. It's okay. Once we get that one top knot going, now we, you you kind of don't want to let it go. So we're gonna. Try to do this quickly and comb it best we can. And then with our rubber band now that's on our hand, we're just going to grab just like that and pop it over and pull the hair through, twist it once and pull it over again and then one more time. So that's going to keep it nice and tight and then afterwards what you want to do is you want to pull down so that we're releasing all of the tension in that top knot so it's not pulling up on the eye so we want to kind of pull pull this all down just like that so that it's not pulling up on his eye and you can tell make sure you're looking at the eye and make sure that there's not a lot of tension you can even kind of just do this and do that. If you just kind of separate the skin and the hair, it'll release all that tension in the eye. So, so that's that's the first challenge right there. So now that we have our top knot in, just check it, make sure that it's centered, and then you can even comb through it, and it'll pull any other hair through. So there's that part of it. All right. Now that that's in, we can put our bow in. Same concept, we're going to use our index finger and our thumb, and we're gonna try not to crush the bow too much. We, we make our own bow, sometimes we buy them, sometimes we make them, but in this case, obviously, uh, as we showed you, we, we made our, our bow. So we're gonna do that again, and we're going to grab, stay up, it's okay, and try to make it quickly. Do it quickly, stay bubble. And on this one, we're going to pull once and then only twice. We're not going to do three on this one and pull that hair through. And we want to try to get that underneath the rubber band that's already in there. And once it's in, now we can flare that bow back up. Stay bubble, stay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come here, come here. It's a, it's a challenge, but it really does look cute. And again, we just want to kind of check the tension and release that tension so it's not pulling up on his eye. And then we're just going to comb up again. Come here, baby. Come here, Rams. Good boy. Oh, you're so good. There you have it, guys. It's Remy with his bow in his head. Come here, Bubba. Good boy. 
Hey guys, once again, thanks again for tuning in. We just, again, wanted to feature Remy in one of our videos. He's such a sweet little Shih Tzu. Uh, he's nice and full coated, and we figured we'd just show you how we do his top knot. We wanted to show you the whole transition from start to finish and, you know, how he uh, comes out because we just love how he comes out and we love this little dog. Once again, guys, we really appreciate you tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you leave a nice comment, you might be featured in another video. Don't forget to check out our radio show. It's Groomer Humor. We'll leave that link down below. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Once again, guys, give it up for Remy. We really appreciate you guys checking us out.